This is George from High Tech Legion. As you know, smartphones are evolving at an incredible pace. And with the uh, evolution and the more power that we're seeing from smartphones, we're becoming more and more dependent on them, not only for communications, but also for entertainment purposes. It's not unusual for people to be walking around with gigs and gigs of music on their phones, movies, uh, etc. But of course, using it in this way, A, is a big battery drain, and B, the smartphone itself sound-wise is not going to get the job done. So today we're going to take a look, uh, look at a piece that addresses both of these issues and is really one of the coolest smartphone accessories to come down the pike in a long time, the Groovy W from Luxa 2. At first glance, the Groovy W may look like just another set of small speakers to go along with a smartphone or iPod or whatnot, but it goes well beyond that. So what exactly is the Groovy W? Well, let's take a quick look at the box first. Get a little explanation here. Enjoy true audio and wireless freedom. The Groovy W is completely wireless uh, in its connections with the smartphone itself. Also does wireless QI charging. Take a look down the bottom at the features, Bluetooth, NFC, uh, should be pointed out, NFC is for pairing only. It does not tr uh, stream data over NFC. It just uses an NFC tag for pairing. Moving on from there, wireless QI charging, LED uh, indicators, LED charging indicator, full speakerphone compatibility, Luxa 2 app, for, uh, 2200 milliamp battery built into the Groovy 2 itself, and a 4400 milliamp battery built into the charging pad. So you do have the wireless QI charging pad. Now, taking a look, the Groovy uh, 2, or Groovy W itself, I should say, uh, has a 10 hour playback time without the charging pad. With the charging pad fully charged underneath it, it'll play back for 30 hours. Also very small, very lightweight, take it with you without a problem. Around the back, get a look at the features once again. Same features that are listed out front, just with a little bit more explanation. Obviously, simple stuff. Now. Let's get a look at the Groovy W itself. Like I say, this is really one of the coolest pieces we've seen in a long time. The Groovy W, let's start with the charging pad itself. 4400 uh, milliamp hour battery built into a charging pad. Full QI, so literally on off button in the front and turn it on, set your phone down on top of it. Naturally, as long as your phone is QI charging enabled and it will mate. and charging will begin. As you can see, wireless charger detected and phone is now charging. Pull it off and charging will stop with a no device removed from charger. So you've got the wireless QI charging built in. Now uh, your phone does have to be QI enabled in order for this to work. We'll just turn that off. Now, popping the Luxa 2 Groovy W on top of it, with it on, will fire it up immediately, as you see. You've got your battery indicator, which you can see is now charging because it is sitting on top of the charging adapter. You've got your microphone, Bluetooth, play pause, and speakerphone, and volume up and down, all in LED across the top. So very, very simple, easy to use. You've got your speakers up front on the Groovy W, sides, very nice looking. You get the wraparound grill, as you see. Bottom, obviously the mating piece. And you've got your input to charge the battery if you want to plug it into a phone charger. You've also got an auxiliary input, which can be used if you want to use a wire from the phone or if you're using an older iPod or whatnot and just want to play it through here, not a problem at all. You've got an auxiliary in. On off button right here. Also enables Bluetooth, turns it on and off. So very, very simple setup, as you see, but very, very powerful. You've got wireless charger, and you've got your full audio piece that will sit on top or can be used independently. So as you see, very small, easy to take with you. Now the Groovy W has two ways of pairing your phone as a wireless device. It can use NFC, as I say, it's an NFC tag, or it can use Bluetooth. Um, as you see now, first thing to do, Turn on and hold in the uh, power button for three seconds, which will activate your Bluetooth. You will get an indicator that the Bluetooth is turned on. Ooh. 
Bluetooth mode has been on. Now, first, quick look. Take a look at the NFC pairing. Typically, your phone would go this way, just drop right on. Uh, this particular phone has a little bit of an odd placement of the NFC. So we'll just place it on top, and it's going to... Paired. Tell the phone to turn on the Bluetooth and pair. So you're then paired, and you can begin playing your music using the Luxa 2 or your uh, regular media player. Just that simply right through the Groovy W. Now, obviously, you've got your volume up and down right up top. Waiting for Perry. And I accidentally hit the Bluetooth, but you get the idea there as far as the pairing. Now you can repair, of course, using Bluetooth on your phone. Paired. And start your playback. Um, you've got your volume up and down. Obviously, play and pause right there, which will work as well. And can also work for hanging up your calls uh, during a speakerphone call. Now, as you hear, the Groovy W for such a small size actually has a good amount of volume and also has a great amount of depth, so it will fill the room very, very well. And the top volume, as you can hear, I can't talk over it, really. And really, it's the amount of depth that uh, really plays a big uh, part here, as the Groovy W sounds absolutely excellent for a small speaker system. Really gives you some great versatility to the uh, multimedia output of your smartphone. Luxa 2's companion app, which can be used with the Groovy W or standalone, very simple to operate but very powerful. First off, you see you have four buttons when you bring it up. First button will bring up a five band graphic equalizer, touch sliders, across, as you see, equalizer on off. Also, you've got select presets for classical, dance, jazz, pop, and rock. And very easy to use, uh, as you see, and will work standalone or with the Groovy W to shape the sound. Next, simple Bluetooth on and off, which will allow for easier pairing. The Luxa 2 has its own uh, app, has its own music player. Very similar to the Android music player, a little bit more functional. Uh, going up, you can so, uh, select tracks by artists, albums, complete song list, stored playlists, genres, or using a file browser. Uh, that's a great add-on feature right there, the file browser, uh, giving you an Android file browser built right into the Luxa 2 app. And, of course, going back to the player itself, simple play and pause, track forward, track back, and, of course, shuffle and repeat, if you like. And, finally, last button, Internet Radio. Brings you up a radio list, local radio, music, talk, sports, or by location. Now, keep in mind that bandwidth charges will apply, so if you're not uh, using Wi-Fi, obviously you're going to be using data whenever you use this. And just select the station you'd like to listen to. And you can play it over internet radio. So that, that right there is a great feature also. So very simple but very powerful app from Luxa 2. When the Groovy W is connected, it'll also act as a speakerphone, uh, very similar to the way a Bluetooth headset would work in that it's going to default over to that when you're placing calls. So placing a call on the phone is going to automatically route it through the Groovy W unless you uh, select the hands, obviously the 
handset on your phone. And of course, you can switch back and forth. Now, in placing calls, uh, we did find that call quality coming in was actually very, very good on the Groovy W. However, as far as going out, um, what we were finding was as the volume was turned up uh, any louder than almost its lowest point, people on the other end were complaining of a bit of feedback. So you do need to keep the volume down to keep it clear for the people on the other end. There was no problem with the mic, no problem understanding them, like I say, but the caller on the other end, other end did complain of feedback if the uh, volume was turned up. The charging pad supplied with the Groovy W uses a 4400 milliamp battery and was very, very easy to use. Uh, obviously, very, very simple device. You've got USB output. So if you want to charge using this cable, including the supplied cable, which is USB to micro USB, you can do that. Obviously, just plug in, then char uh, plug the micro USB into your phone. Uh, the charging input, obviously, right here. And right above that, when power is turned on, you'll see a battery life indicator, four bars going across. Uh, when it's charging, you'll see it scroll across as well. Turn it off, battery light uh, level indicator turns off as well. Um, charging was very, very simple. Turn the unit on, place the phone onto the charger. And you'll get an audible beep, as well as a confirmation from the phone that the charge has been detected and the phone is now charging. Uh, we found that with the wireless charger, with it uh, as battery only, not plugged in, took approximately uh, six and a half hours to fully charge the Droid DNA battery from just about dead, which is about an hour and a half longer than it takes with a wall charger, um, almost comparable to that of a cigarette lighter plug charger. So the charging time was actually very good on it. We do get almost full two charges on it out of the uh, one charge on the battery pack. So all in all, it performed very, very well as a wireless QI charger. Included with the Groovy W, we saw the USB to mini USB. Also, quick start guide. Obviously, it tells you everything you need to know as far as setup and as far as operation. Um, it's a very, very intuitive unit, very easy to use, but of course, setup is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Now, also, you get a 3.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter audio cable if you wanna wire, uh, wire in directly rather than going wireless. And finally, you get a nice little leather-like pouch with the Luxa 2 emblem to wrap everything up in and take it with you. All in all, the Luxa 2 Groovy W makes a fantastic desktop companion for your smartphone. Um, really, really nice sounding, uh, definitely fills the room with sound uh, when you're doing some audio playback. The charger worked very, very well. Easy to pair. The NFC tag works very, very well. Just slide your phone on top, pairs it right up and starts your playback. The uh, included app works very, very well. A uh, very simple app, but you know, it does add an EQ, which most phones don't have and quick access to internet radio. So you've really got uh, some nice entertainment possibilities going there. Also very, very versatile, works corded, not corded. Uh, you know, as I say, with Bluetooth NFC, uh, with the three and a half millimeter cord, not a problem at all. So you really have some powerful things going. 30 hours of playback time, which is fantastic when you've got it on top of there. 10 hours if you're just taking it to go by itself, as well as some pretty good charging times off the QI charger uh, without it being plugged in. So it's really a great solution. The only downside, um, the speakerphone really was subpar to say the least. Uh, people on the other end really said that when they talked, it was just positively irritating unless the volume on the unit was turned all the way down. So with the volume on the unit turned all the way down, you're gonna have a little trouble hearing them, but they're not gonna hear themselves. But you take it up from there and it becomes, uh, kind of like I say, people described as just being very irritating. So speakerphone, not so great, but the rest of it, absolutely phenomenal and a great desktop companion. Uh, so with the little speakerphone flaw, speakerphone flaw, we're gonna give the Groovy W a High Tech Legion Gold Award uh, for really outstanding multimedia performance, great charging capabilities, great flexibility, really nice app. And uh, like I say, High Tech Legion Gold Award for the Luxa 2 Groovy W.